Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy and today we're doing a Ryzen 7 revisited video. So how much has changed since I first took a look at the Ryzen 7 CPUs. So let's jump right into it then. So I first checked out Ryzen uh, nearly five months ago. It was actually the 2nd of March when I did my first video featuring the Ryzen 7 1800X. And in that, I didn't do any stock testing. I did it all at uh, four gigahertz. That's what we'll be recreating here today. And we'll also be doing the exact same tests as I did back then. So today I'll be using the Ryzen 7 1700. Now I see a lot of you guys saying why I don't use an 1800X for my testing or like a 1700X. They're all the same CPU, basically. Um, they're just the clock speeds are different. So if you have a Ryzen 1700 like I do at four gigahertz, and you have a 1700X at four gigahertz and an 1800X at four gigahertz, and I tested all of them right now, uh, with the same memory speeds and everything else the same, they would get exactly the same results within the margin of error. That's why a lot of tech reviewers and tech YouTubers will tell you to just buy the Ryzen 7 1700 and overclock it up to 4 GHz because there's absolutely no difference in performance, uh, whether it's the 1700, 1700X, 1800X, and they all overclock the same as well. So you're much better off with the 1700 here. Now as far as the testing goes, I use the exact same memory, uh, I use the exact same GPU, the G1 Gaming GTX 1080, and I use an X370 motherboard. This is a different one, it's the Crosshair 6 uh, Hero, as opposed to back then I used the uh, Gigabyte board, the Gaming K7 I believe it was, uh, X370. So both X370s, but there's been a lot uh, of updates in terms of BIOS updates with the boards a lot of Windows updates and just a lot of optimization in general with the Ryzen processors. So let's jump into it then and see the differences between the two. So I'll put, just for the sake of making it easy for you guys to understand, I'll put a 1700 um, at launch and then I'll put the 1700 now because it is essentially the same CPU. I just don't want you guys to get confused. So let's jump into the benchmarks and see what differences there are. And we're back. So we see there some pretty big gains, especially in Shadow of Mordor and Dirt Rally. And we even saw a bit of a bump up there in Firestrike, which is uh, quite good to see because that's a synthetic. So what do we make of that? Well, I expected there to be gains over time with these Ryzen CPUs because they were quite different. And uh, of course, going forward now, more modern games will be actually optimized for these CPUs from when they launch, rather than many of these games, you know, obviously came out when these CPUs uh, didn't exist yet. So yeah, big gains there. I, I didn't expect that big a gain though uh, in some of those benchmarks, but yeah, it's very, very good. We knew this would happen through the optimizations, but you can see now that Ryzen has really um, come up to par. You know, it's really been fully optimized, I think. 
there's still probably a little bit better it could get, but I honestly think the main um, jump that it's had in terms of optimization has now happened, and a lot of the X370 boards as well, all of the issues they had when it first launched, most of them have all been fixed also. So in general now I feel like the uh, Ryzen CPUs are pretty much as good as they're gonna get. There'll probably be some more optimizations that can be done, but in my personal opinion, I feel like the majority of it, the bulk of it, has already been done. But what do you guys think? I know this was just a bit of a short video, but I, I thought it'd be interesting to see, and I was actually kind of shocked at the results there. But what do you guys think? Do you think there's still quite a bit left in the tank for Ryzen in terms of optimizations going forward, or do you agree with me that the, the vast majority of it has been done now? Uh, in terms of just uh, optimizations from past applications and past games uh, and that there's maybe only a little bit more they can do uh, just sort of minor things here and there but it's uh, you know I want to ask you guys what do you think now I thank you all for watching this video please subscribe to Tech Showdown if you haven't already and like the video and as always I'll see you guys next time